Hey guys, it's Andrew from CMO Apps here, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to log into a Firebase app with a Facebook login. So this tutorial is going to be based off one of our previous ones, which is a Facebook login, and you can see that in the description below and download the starter source code for this one, because in order to log into Firebase with Facebook, you need to set up Facebook login first. So once you've got that going, let's jump into it. Okay, so we've got our Firebase Facebook login project here. And what we need to do is open up this pod file. And from our previous tutorial, we've already got the Facebook login Swifter libraries. We now need to add the Firebase one. So that's pod and we'll do Firebase and slash auth since we only currently want to add the authentication one. We'll save that. With that saved, close that pod file down, head over to the command prompt and we're going to change to our project directory. And in our project directory, we'll do pod install. And this is going to install the Firebase authentication libraries we need to be able to use to log in with Facebook. Now with this install, we're going to open up our project, but before we get into coding, there's a few steps we need to take in the Firebase and Facebook console to actually configure our application. So head over to the Firebase console. And what we need to do is we're going to create a new project. I'm going to name our project Facebook Login. We're going to use all the default settings and hit Create Project. Okay, we'll hit Continue when our new project is ready. And you can see here, it has a get started by adding it to your app. We're going to select iOS. We're going to grab our iOS bundle ID from our application, which is simu.firebase.facebook. And we're going to skip these two options for now. We'll register our app. Then it's going to give you this Google service plist file. You need to download that in order to add it to our project. So with that downloaded, go next. We've already added the Firebase SDK, so we can go next. And the app initialization code, I'll come back to in a moment. So go next, and we'll go skip this step because I'll show you at logging in later. Okay, so I've got our plist file here. So simply drag that into your project and make sure you add it to all your targets with the copy file selected, hit finish. And that's going to be added to our project now. Now we need to go back to our Firebase console. Under develop, go to the authentication option. Select sign in method. Under Facebook, we need to enable that. And you can see it's going to ask for an app ID and app secret. And we're going to need to add this OAuth redirect URI to Facebook. So let's start off with the app ID and app secret. If you go to your app in the Facebook developer console, under settings, basic, you can see you have this app ID and app secret here. So copy these both to your app. And remember the app secret, you must not absolutely let anyone know because otherwise they can authenticate into your own app. Okay, so you can see we've got our app ID and app secret here. Now we need to copy this Facebook OAuth redirect URI. So hit copy, go back to the Facebook developer console. And then what you need to do on the left side, you'll see a Facebook login under products. So select that. If you don't see it, hit the add button, go to your settings for the Facebook login. If this isn't selected, enable client OAuth login and web OAuth login. And you'll see this valid OAuth redirect URIs. I've added one from a previous project, so I'll remove that. I'll add the new one in from our Firebase Facebook console. Hit save. Okay, with that set up, we're gonna go back to the Firebase authentication dashboard. Going to hit save on our Facebook login and now our Facebook will be enabled for our app. So a user will be able to log in with Facebook. Let's get into the code. So going back to our Xcode application, go to your app delegate, and we're going to import Firebase Core. And under application did finish with launchings, add Firebase app. 
at dot configure. Now when you're developing, you might see that an error comes up when you use import Firebase core and you also use Firebase app.configure. If that happens, you can either run the project or go to product and then build. The reason for that is with the Cocoa Pods install, you need to build your project at least once for all the imports and then the associated code with those imports to auto complete. So that will configure our app to use Firebase. Now to add the Facebook login, we're going to go back to our view controller. Under imports, we're going to do import Firebase auth. And we're going to add a new function to then log into Firebase once the user has logged in with Facebook. So do funks Firebase Facebook login. And we're going to take in a parameter called access token of the data type string. And now we'll do let's credential equals Facebook auth provider dot credential and with access token we're going to add in the parameter we pass through which is an access token string then we do auth with a capital dot auth with a lowercase with brackets we'll do sign in and retrieve data we'll auto complete that out with auth credential will be that credential we just made and we're going to add a completion handler in here then in completion handler, we're going to add a bracket, a curvy bracket, and then we will add auth results, comma error, close that off. Then we'll do in. And now we'll fill this out. So we'll do if let error equals error to print out to the console firebase login error print out the error and then return so the function stops executing if we get here the user has signed in to firebase with their facebook login so we can print out firebase login done print out the auth results so the authentication result. And finally, if you want to get the Firebase user identifier, we do if let user equals auth with capitals dot auth lowercase auth dot current user. Then we do brackets. We'll do print current Firebase user is. Then we'll do a new print line and print out the user. So this line of code here will actually only jump into printing out the current Firebase user is than what they are to the console if the user is logged into the app. If they are logged into the app, this will never complete because the user will be null. Okay, so before we run the app, we need to call this Firebase Facebook login from our Facebook login did complete login function here. And also if the app loads up and the user's already logged into Facebook. So in the view did load, all we need to simply add is Firebase Facebook login. And with the access token, we need to do access token dot authentication token. Copy that and then add it to your successful case or the login button did complete login function call from your Facebook login button delegate. So with that complete now, let's run the app and check that out. Okay, so our apps run and I was already logged into the app with Facebook. So we can see in the console here, we have Firebase login done. So our Firebase login was completed successfully using our Facebook login. And then we can see the authentication result here and we can see what the current Firebase user is. So if I then log out of Facebook, then log back in, we'll hit continue. We can see in the console, it prints out the current Firebase user. And if you go back to your Firebase project under authentication, we can see here, we can now find that our user
has logged in with Facebook. So every user that logs in, you'll be able to see all your unique users under authentication. And you can have many different sign-in methods. This was just using Facebook. All right, and that's how you set up Facebook login with Firebase. That was much easier than the Facebook login part. The Firebase part is a lot more smoother and easier to use. So you can download the source code in the description below. Don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment and subscribe if this helped you out. And just quickly, one thing about Firebase is once the user is logged in, you can call any of the Firebase functions and it will pass the current user to that function.